Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I talk about the movies, theme parks, merchandising, TV shows, so I don't know, whatever the case may be. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, there's a fairly good chance to talk about it. So just here we go again, I guess. Talk about something related to this company. So it's a Lego themed kind of a thing. And yes, it's this right here, folks. Lego Disney Princess the Castle a Quest, I guess you're going to say, is what it's called. Yeah, which I've briefly mentioned in one of my previous videos because I spoke about the trailer and it looked promising. So we get these five princesses. I uh, put him much uh, brought into this one place uh, because the gunstone is up to no good as usual. So yeah, and these princesses had to do a thing and just make him stop or whatever. Okay, I just um all right. So I got a villain here that's up to no good, obviously. Anyway, of course, as always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go. As I mentioned a moment ago, there are these five princesses. Which, of course, is going to include Ariel, obviously, because her father's been trapped in this place. So, these princesses are off on this adventure, as they each would have to go through this um, uh, journey, so to speak. And this has something to do with the fact that they were unexpectedly transported into this castle. This castle that uh, Gaston has, of course, Gaston pretty much owns it, I suppose. But the thing is that once they arrive, they soon discover that, yes, obviously, like I was saying, Gaston is up to no good. He has something in mind. He has this evil, wicked plan to basically take over all the kingdoms because he wants all the power to himself. And he doesn't want anyone to boss him around. He wants to be the person that's going to give all the orders. He wants, that's what he wants because he's the villain. That's of course, in other words, he's power hungry. Very much power hungry, of course. And he was stop at nothing to get what he wants. And that's obvious, of course. It's what he does. So anyway, and of course, they would go to, a, they would go to a, some forest. Uh, or maybe some sort of pirate thing is going on here. Obviously. But, okay. There, there's all these crazy things. And there's like little callbacks to their... Old, to their own movies, I suppose. So that was pretty nice. And there's even a little nudge, nudge, wink, wink towards Aladdin. I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, so that's pretty much the idea here when it comes to this story. Obviously, it's going to be some crazy adventure. So, yeah, the, uh, the keen Ariel's father has been kidnapped. So, that's, that has something to do with Gaston. Gaston has him in his place because he wants to claim his throne and be, pretty much be the ultimate ruler. And yes, he has taken so many riches. He has stolen a lot of stuff, of course, including the magic mirror that once belonged to the evil queen. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, but basically... These characters pretty much have to do their thing, and this was basically a little special, a Lego special that, that did um, this, uh, these types of characters. One thing I would definitely say is that, I would say it's, it was a lot more enjoyable than a lot of the remakes they made over the years. So, okay, while I won't exactly say that this was a perfect movie by any means, but it was nice. It was, it was a step in the right direction. So this animated short was actually a lot, a lot better than a lot, uh, than literally every single live action version remake that they did. You know, those movies are like over two hours. How is it that this one's barely under 50 minutes, yet it was a lot better than the two hour movies? That doesn't make any sense, but yet here we are. The voice acting was actually pretty good. The voice acting was actually surprisingly well done here. So, there you go, I guess. As for the animation itself, the animation, of course, all these characters were intentionally designed to, to look like Legos, obviously. And we all know Legos tend to be blocky and whatnot, so of course, that kind of plays into it to some extent, anyway. But for what it's worth, it actually does the animation quite well as well. The animation it was actually pretty good, really. 
I like the animation that was done here, folks. The animation was actually really well done. The art style was nice and detailed for his, for his work. The colors are pretty good. And uh, the color uh, scheme that he chose was actually well done. You can actually tell this was done by a bunch of professionals. As I was saying a moment ago, I really wish that this could have been what they were doing. I really wish that they could. this could have been what they were doing more often. This is something that's actually a, a lot better, if you ask me. This is something that was actually quite nice, actually. So, this is seriously something that we could um, actually watch more often. I was actually be in favor of this. It's not based on anything. It's not based on any comics or anything. Nothing is to be based upon, loosely, anyway. There's not a whole Lego aspect, really. I mean, you know, I mean, we all know the toy Lego sets don't really have a story, really. So, there's only so much can do with that anyway, when you think about it. So, there you go. So, they basically had to build an entire story from the ground up, is what I'm getting at. They had to build an entire story from the ground up anyway. So, there's that. Uh, but, yeah, I just wish this is something that could have done a bit more. And, so, in other words, the, this little special that they made for Disney Plus where I watch it, it's, it's pretty good. It has the five princesses characters teaming up. To take on Gaston, which I guess to, this could be considered as a crossover. I guess this could be considered as a crossover, I suppose. Okay, sure. But anyway, uh, this was definitely well done, obviously, folks. I can definitely say that. So, uh, altogether, this was definitely a well made thing, of course. It, it was done pretty well. And of course, they're gonna have, uh, add a little quirkiness throughout the entire thing, which is fine. And nothing wrong with that. And uh, so, again, even with Snow White, Snow White was definitely a part of the group. She was, she was a pretty good character because it shows that the characters learning. Yeah, what do you know? Characters learn. Because we all, we all know what happened in her movie. So it's kind of like she learned, I guess. I suppose. So that's that's something. So she has to be careful. I mean, what do I mean exactly? You're gonna have to watch the story. It's like, what the hell do I? What am I talking about? You're gonna have to watch the um, watch the uh, story itself. Uh, I mean, yes, like we're saying with the voice acting, it can be a hit or miss. But for the most part, the voice acting is pretty good. The story itself is pretty exciting. I'm trying to teach some sort of moral lesson, as these movies tend to do. I mean, yes, okay, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, sure, but anyway, it's a pretty fun adventure as a whole. I can say I, I will recommend this, obviously, so all in all, I thought it was pretty good. So I'm giving this little special here an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. It gets a 7.1 out of 10 for me. So yes, of course. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.